Hi friends, brothers and sisters, I'm Francis, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Our gospel for today is taken from Matthew chapter 8, verses 23 to 27. And it says, Then he got into the boat, and his disciples followed him. Suddenly, a furious storm came up on the lake, so that the waves swept over the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him, saying, Lord, save us. We're going to drown. He replied, You of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. The men were amazed and asked, What kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. A rather short, but a very rich one, nonetheless. A short story, no? but very rich, nonetheless. As I reflected on this, I, I couldn't help but visualize what this story may have looked like. And personally, I could understand the fear of the disciples. Storm on land? I will stay safe and dry inside my home. Storm on the sea? Expect to get wet if you're on a boat, or at least get tossed around if you're on a ship and you have your own room in it. Across the massive sea, there is no place to escape to, and you can only hope to weather the storm and pray that your ship survives the waves and the wind. He got into the boat and his disciples followed him. You know, traveling by boat always carries with it a certain degree of risk you would normally not find in, say, I don't know, traveling uh, by bike. Fishermen know this. Fishermen who have spent their entire life living by the sea and earning their livelihood through the sea still lose their lives when they go out to fish and happen to be out in the deep when a storm occurs. So when Jesus got into the boat, and his disciples followed him, the disciples knew that there was a certain risk involved in following Jesus. And that is how it is with our lives right now. When we accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we joined him in his boat, and we know, or should know, that our journey will not be an easy one. And yet we ride the boat anyway. I would rather have a bumpy boat ride with Jesus than a smooth one without him. Suddenly, a furious storm came up on the lake. Even on a seemingly calm day with not a single cloud in sight, things can change very quickly. I hope we can all relate. Our weather the past few weeks has been crazy. You know, uh... Scorching hot sun in the morning, cloudy in the afternoon, and then either a slight drizzle or a heavy downpour that will last minutes only at night. I suppose many of us had pretty good lives in the months leading to March of 2020. Who would have thought that just like that, some virus would shut down our businesses and places of work? and the wonderful and tranquil lives we were living would suddenly turn upside down. Many of us lost jobs or our businesses were forced to close, and we may have had to live off of savings and the little ayuda or dole outs that our government could provide. And the harsh part? For some of us, it may have seemed that Jesus was sleeping at the time. And we were crying out, Lord, save us. I'm going to lose my job. I'm going to lose my business. I won't be able to go home to the Philippines. I cannot visit my sick loved ones in the hospital. I cannot receive visitors while I'm here at the hospital. The presence of Jesus did not stop the storm from coming. The presence of Jesus did not stop the virus from coming. And so it is today. 
having Jesus in our lives will not stop the storms of our lives from coming. And many times, during the worst of the storm, we will feel that Jesus is sleeping or is not lifting a finger to come to our aid. But take comfort. Jesus is with us through the storms of our lives. Perhaps just waiting for us to reach out to Him when our human strengths, abilities, and skills fail us. You of little faith, why are you so afraid? This is a very humbling question from Jesus. Time and time again, I have come face to face with crisis in my life. The loss of both my dad and my mother-in-law in the same year. My father-in-law being hospitalized twice. And both uh, hospitalizations requiring ICU stays. It was an emotionally and financially draining year, but my wife and I survived it. Our finances are okay right now, and what's left of that year are the memories. Another year, I was hardly working because the training gigs were few and far in between. I was just about ready to go back to a regular 8 to 5 job, and I've been sending out my resumes and going through some interviews, and all the while praying for providence. And yet my prayers were answered in a totally different way. I found myself receiving a steady income from a non-training work, and it sustained me until such time when my training opportunities flourished once again. And each time, I can only marvel at how my prayers were being answered, and answered in time. Jesus answers prayers. It's just that he answers them at his time, not ours, and he also answers them based on what he believes to be best for us. I have long since uh, stopped asking, what kind of man is this? He helps me overcome all the storms life has thrown on me. But I never cease to be amazed at the things he has done for me. Jesus never promised an easy life. He only promised that he will be with us always, as written in Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. And it says, And surely I am with you always, to the very end of age. Let's ride the boat of life with Jesus, expect the storms, and ride out the storms with him. If you have been blessed by this short reflection, please like and share Pathways of Hope to your friends and loved ones. Again, my name is Francis Ortega. Thank you and have a nice day.